starting to rain, but I want to go see that Dean's Village, so I jumped into a taxi. He's gonna take me there. Also, my legs are a little bit boxed. I've done about 1500 steps today and 2500 yesterday already, so I'm just gonna enjoy the little tour and we're gonna walk around Dean's Village. Yeah, they're neat little taxis. They're all enclosed in and they have like the driver can hear you and then they're all electric doors and it's locked so they can let you out once once you've paid. But they're uh, they're neat. They're like the black taxis but they're they're all very good for COVID too. <laughs> so it's a little bit of traffic on the way over but at least I'm resting my old feet. Okay, so just got off the taxi. It was 11, 11 pounds just because of the congested traffic on Saturday with the works. So it costs, I, I gave him 15, 15 yeah, pounds. So here is in the start of the Dean's Village. So we're gonna take a walk around and see all what it has to offer. Can we go that way? See, it's all cobblestone roads. And that's so let's go walk here first and then we'll go back the other way. Here's this little river stream or river running through. See the beautiful buildings, the waterway, and the bridge. Cross over on this side. So the building's right into the water. That's where a lot of the inspiration of the uh, Harry Potter comes from. <laughs> Edinburgh School of 1875. 1805 to 1806. So that looks like an old mill that's been converted. And you can see there's all these different sites here. It's all cobblestone and very picturesque, nice and quiet. There's a schoolyard. So this goes, it's in a dead end, so we'll walk down here and see what. Dressed up. We head into a wedding, I'd say. That's like, and then we'll head back. Very nice buildings, though. Though I don't know if you want to have people trotting around your streets all the time, but that's the thing about the Edinburgh. There's a lot of tourists here. Very good for tourism. Like they do a way better job than what we have in Dublin and stuff. And definitely my first, but. Uh, do a lot better but then again uh, you're stuck with uh, all the tours and all the tours so there's a walkway you can walk on that side here's back over the waterway here look at its the old buildings look at those stairs going up the middle ones <laughs> Stop and take the trip. 
pictures? Like, you must have an excellent view if you had a room over there uh, for overlooking the uh, waterway. There's the archway bridge where we were before and took the picture. Probably should have went up the stairs. This is actually quite slick. The cobblestone, but I got my hiking boots, so should be okay to get up. But they can't get up this and I'll have problems in Nepal. space as they can, that's for sure. Look at this gate. Very pretty. Little cottages. And then that was just where we were dropped off. And now we're going to head down St. Bernard's Wall. Well, let's see what this is. It's a quarter of a mile. You hear the water crashing in the rocks in the background. Those are modern apartments overlooking the galleries. Look at that. Right over the water. There's some view. Let's see if we can poke it is up here. Well, that's where the water is. It's a little waterfall over there. Let's see if we get a vision of it on this side. Edinburgh is a beautiful uh, city to visit. Definitely recommend it. Ooh, nice buggy. Then that's where that's where the water's falling down from. Let's keep walking around here. Look at that bridge there. These are grinding for uh, mills. Millstone it look, looks like. Massive yoke. Hmm. Doesn't really say what it's for. It looks like it would be a millstone that would be to ground wheat, flour. walking around this way. And then we'll head back after we're finished this. I'm gonna get ready to change over my uh, hostels today. Go to the uh, new one. See what that's like. I'll show you what that's like. Uh, this one cost a little bit more. Yesterday was about, I think it was about 30 something pounds. I'll put it up right here what the cost was. Um, and then today's I think it's about 42. So Plus it's a Saturday, maybe it's a little bit more expensive that way, but it's supposed to be a noise old building and then you have to climb up three flights of stairs to get to the rooms. So, a little exercise to do that. Look at this building. Little robe. They're all dotted around the place. It's very ancient, beautiful buildings. Look at these, the work for the uh, the bridge.
Yeah, and then we'll get something to eat after we do the old check-in. I'm gonna try that. Definitely on the list is that haggis with the uh, tatters and something else. I'll put the expression, uh, the menu, what it's called there and stuff. But it's a must uh, try if you come to uh, Edinburgh. Oh, there we go. Waterfall right under the bridge. See a lot of people here, very busy. Very nice. Don't really know where we're going on this. Everyone seems to be walking to and from, so. I said a quarter of a mile. I don't think we've been a quarter of a mile yet, so we'll keep going there and then we'll head back. off now. So I wonder if this is people's back gardens. I see some walkways in that. I don't know where it goes to. Something coming up ahead. So I think this is the, uh, the place where we were going to. It's at a quarter of a mile. It's been about a quarter of a mile. There it is. down to the water. I'm going to do that, take a picture first. Okay, so I took a photo, now we're going to go down the steps and see what it brings us up to. We go to that water. Let's see what it brings. Does these steps go up to it or what? It's locked up there. St. Bernard's Mineral Well. And then you walk way along here, all across. Oh, look what we see in here. The liberal, they visit liberal things. Don't know what that means. William Nelson. January 1888. Very peaceful. Here's the back of it. And then this way you can go back up the stairs and we can head back towards where we started. So you can come and have a nice relaxing picnic. Where you enjoy the nature around you. Okay, so now we're just gonna make our way back up. This is the road the uh, taxi took to drop me off. So we're just going to go back up to the, the main part. So we'll see these buildings when we're walking up. They're still, it's a bit of a mix of the old and uh, some modern ar architecture. These are very modern looking. So obviously the lower part of the Dean Village is where all the picturesque views and very Harry Potter-like scenes that show up there so we're going to make our way up the top of this hill join the rest of the living and see if we can find a bus or a taxi to head back into the uh, royal mile area and then we'll go to my old hostel take my bag 
and make our way to the new one. So that's Queens Ferry Road, Beans Bridge, and that's the big bridge you walked under where the, uh, we were right underneath with the, uh, the water falling right beside it. Let's see if we go a little bit towards it. And then we'll come back in and head back towards where the hostels are. There's a big church on the left there. You see the views on both sides. And then we'll head back. Definitely do a lot of walking in Edinburgh. Here's where you're walking on that side. There's the uh, there's the, the wheels that were for the mill with the little garden that we were in. And let's cross over to the other side. Wait till the traffic clears. Side. Jeez. You see the water there. You can't really see much. It's all flush, like plush green trees. There's a garden over there on the left. Hale City Center. Should have jumped on that one. Anyways, so that was a little tour of Dean Village. Hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm. And if you're enjoying what I'm doing there and try to help me, please subscribe to my channel. It really helps. I want to get up to a thousand. We're getting her on the way with over 5,000 hours watch time and about 40, uh, 44,000 views, almost 45,000 so far. And it's only been like 11 months. Okay, next month will be uh, my anniversary of the year, so I'd like to push up as much as we can. Stay tuned for the next part of the videos.